What is going on guys, you got Tone here bringing you my MPL Season 4 Week 6 battle against Carson aka Toxic Gaming and his Chicago Bewares. Now I do apologize in advance with how late this video is, um, it took some time to like make sure I got all my stuff down and I had other commitments to attend to but currently at the time I'm putting out these videos I am on spring break so I want to be catching up quite a bit and try to get these battle videos out ASAP. So, as I did say, this is week six. I didn't play week five yet, considering we had some um, trouble finding a time where we can both be available to battle. But I will get that battle up as soon as possible as well. So, we decided to just skip ahead for now. We play in Carson. We are currently two and two. The last time we did anything related to the MPL, we did come away with a close one nothing win over Merck and his team Burger Kingler. So hopefully we're trying to look into continue that momentum. Um, this is a division matchup if I recall correctly. So um, I'm gonna just run down his team of 11 that he has. Um, his team consists of, Carson's team is Heatran, Buzzwall, Ferrothorn, Kiram, Politoed, Ridiculous, Needle King, Vikavolt, Kabutops, and Kumfei with his Zemons being Heatran and Kiram. And my 11 Pokemon are Victini, Raikou, Keldeo, Zygarde 10%, Serena, Alolan Ninetales, Gigalith, Kovagrigus, Empoleon, Porygon 2, and Alolan Ninetales with my Zemons being Victini and Alolan Persian. So this week is going to mark the debut of both Empoleon and Porygon 2, which I picked up with my two free transactions as taking over for this team. Um, I do apologize again, there is no team builder because of how late this video is going up. So I just want to make sure I get it up for your viewing pleasure. So with that being said, I'm going to run on the team that I brought into this battle. So first and foremost, we have our Choice Scarf Raikou um, with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Extra Sensory, and Aura Sphere. Um, because I'm running Aura Sphere, I have to run Rash Nature. Um, I am running enough speed on my Raikou to outspeed uh, Timid Max Speed Kiram and everything below that. So basically, um, my moveset allows me to pretty much hit everything on this team for at least neutral damage. Um, Thunderbolt Volt Switch for General Stab and Momentum with Volt Switch. Extra Sensory is for the Buzz Wall and the. And the Needle King and Aura Sphere lets me deal with the Ferrothorn, the Heatran, and the Kiram. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a fast momentum grabber, um, revenge killer, all that sort of stuff. Um, number two, we have our Victini running um, Life Orb with Blue Flare, Thunder, Psychic, and Focus Blast. Um, enough speed again for the... Kiram, um, I did um, kind of under prep because, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, I did kind of under prep because most of my team is outspeeding Kiram, but I miss, I miss, um, I underestimated um, Comfey because I thought Comfey was based 90 speed, but it turns out it was based 100, so my Pokemon are actually slower than Comfey, but then I realized it didn't really matter because Triage, Draining Kiss is a thing, and I have response to Comfey anyway. But anyway, my Victini set, like I said, Blue Flare, Thunder, Psychic, and Focus Blast pretty much hits everything on his team for at least neutral damage. Um, I was kind of skeptical in bringing Comfey considering he has the rain team, but he has um, Polyto plus Kabutops, but considering that his rain also helps out my Victini's Thunder, I'm pretty sure he'd be skeptical about bringing it in the face of my Victini, but we'll see how that goes. So you see he didn't even bring rain, so works out for me. Um, number three, we have the debut of Chill Penguin, our Empoleon, fully specially defensive, Stealth Rock, Scald, Roar, and Defog. So basically designed to, um, this is my response to his setup mons. Um, it can take on stuff like Comfey, it can take on um, Ranunculus. It's basically my um, main check to Ranunculus because the last thing I want is like call my Ranunculus to set up and just try to get a sweep on my team. And I was like, I am not having any part of that whatsoever. Um, because my team doesn't really deal well with Renuculus for the most part. It doesn't really deal well with um, flying types either. I could have brought Gigalith, but it didn't really fit in the scheme of my plans. So, 
we have Napoleon here getting up rocks, um, checking the Comfe in the, in the Kiram as you see here. Um, if he is Specs Kiram, I know I could, um, my investment, I can still take a Specs Earth Power with my investment, so it's all well and good. Um, number four, we have Apollo Arkeldio, Substitute Calm Mind, Skull, Secret Sword with leftovers, enough speed for Kiram again. Um, so basically, I came into this with the mindset that I could set up on stuff like um, Heatran and stuff like that. Get up a sub, try to calm mine, get like a sweep going, and then solve Secret Sword for overall general coverage. Um, I knew his main switching. I knew I I brought the set knowing full well he's had the Tornadus, so I knew getting up, uh, trying to go for a calm mind sweep wasn't the most optimal thing to do or bring in this situation. But at the same time, I didn't want to bring specs. I didn't want to be locked into a water attack, and he has that polytone and stuff like that. I figured I'd try to sub up and then let things go from there. So <clears throat> that is the Keldia set. Moving on to Pokemon number five, we have Darkwing Duck, our Porygon two. We are rocking Trick Room um, as a countermeasure to his rain. So he gets the rain up and then try to go into Kabut's house, try to. Try to sweep me and set up the Trick Room, and then just go to town. So we have Trick Room, we have Tri Attack, Thunderbolt, and Hidden Power Ground for that Heatran. Um, pretty much a late game win con. It'd be a lot better for me if I can get rid of the Heatran. I don't know if his um, Tornado's T could be a Soul Fest, his Fike Vault could be AV, but. Um, we'll see what happens in the battle. And last but not least, we have Flora, our Alolan Ninetales, with Aurora Veil, Encore, Freeze Dry, and Moon Blast with the Light Clay. So I get the eight turns of Aurora Veil, making it easier for me to um, set up Call Mines with my Keldeo and whatnot. <coughs> and make it easier in general for me to, like, take attacks from his heavy hitting Wall Breakers. Um,. Now the team that he ended up bringing against me is the Vikavolt, Tornadus T, Comfey, Buzzwall, Kiram, and the Heatran. I did predict most of his team correctly, though I was really expecting the Ranunculus, and I was expecting him to bring the Needle King, but he didn't bring either of those, which kind of threw me off considering I had a bad matchup with Ranunculus and Needle King. Needle King not coming was essentially assumed to me that his Stealth Rocker would have to be Heatran, so. And with him not bringing Needle King, I can freely go ballistic and just Volt Switch on his entire team with my Scarf Raikou, which I ended up bleeding off with, as you see. And he ends up bleeding off with his Vika Volt. So we're gonna play a bat play the video and see how this battle ended up going for us. So <coughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so he is issuing the challenge here. Like I said, I'm gonna lead it with my Raikou here because I am Scarf. He has no way of blocking my Volt Switch. And he's gonna lead up with Sergeant Slaughter, his Vika Volt here. So, like I said, I get a free Volt Switch off. I don't have to show him my item or anything of the sort. Now, the way he led with Vika Volt made me think he was an Assault Vest set. So, I go for Volt Switch here and then see that did a good amount of damage considering the fact that I'm, I am. I'm rash nature, not timid. So I Volt Switch out into my into my um, Nine Tails here, trying to get the Aurora Veil early on in the match here. And he's gonna go for the Bug Buzz here. Um, I probably could have Volt Switch. Um, did a hard read of the Porygon too, but since I'm Trick Room, I didn't want to take unnecessary damage. I'm not running to recover or any of that stuff. So I'm thinking I get up the Aurora Veil this turn. I can live any hit from this Vikavolt. Or so I thought, because he stayed in, I get my Aurora Veil up, so I get the 8 turns. That's all well and good for me. Unfortunately for me, he had Flash Cannon, and I'm like, oh man, this is going to be, this is going to hurt. And yeah, my land took to live in that through the Aurora Veil, so <laughs> bye bye Ninetales. That was not the way I hoped it would be, that was um going to go down, but what's done is done. Um, I didn't expect him to have Flash Cannon. Specifically for my nine tails, but he deemed it as a threat. I see leftovers, so he's not a salt fest, so that's good for me. I do get the free switch into Victini. I could click um blue flare here, but I know that heat trans is lurking around in the back, so I'm gonna predict him to go into a heat tran. I want to click focus blast this turn as he does indeed go out into that heat tran. 
I hit the focus blast. He reveals he's Chobble Berry, and I'm like, okay. <clears throat> Man, the coughing is real, but anyway, hit my focus blast. So now I had to risk. Do I want to? Do I want to risk hitting a 77% accurate focus blast again, or risk me losing my Victini to um and potential Earth power from this heat train? I decided to take the gamble here. Go for my um focus blast. We connecting on this heat train and down it goes. So. Um, I kind of dodged a bullet there because for me risking the miss kind of did suck, but the odds were in my favor. So I felt as though it was pretty. Um, I felt as though the risk was worth it at the beginning of the game. I wanted to play aggressive here. He goes out into his comfy. Um, now I'm not. No, I don't know what this thing's going to do to me. So I'm just gonna hard switch out into my Empoleon here. Cause it's my response to his um comfy, and yeah, he's gonna go for hidden power ground here. Cause he went for hidden power, even though I had Victini out and I had Empoleon, which are both weak to ground. He's gonna reveal he's Life Orb though, so that's good information to note. But he does have Draining Kiss though, so he can recover that health pretty well. I don't know the rest of his set here, so I'm just gonna get my Stealth Rocks here, as he doesn't have any way of, you know, of getting rid of hazards, and Stealth Rocks help me out tremendously in this battle because he has the Vikavolt. He has that Torn T, and he has a Kirin, which are all weak to rocks. So he goes hard into his Vikavolt here. I get my rocks up. Now, I don't want to take a Thunderbolt at this point in the match. So, I'm weighing my options here and all this stuff. I know I'm not going to stay in. So, I'm going to make a read, and I'm going to go hard into my Raikou. As I didn't want to go into Porygon 2, like I said, because it's a Trick Room. I'm going to save it for the late game. And he's just going to go for the Volt Switch himself. So he gets the momentum on his side. And I'm like, okay. That's perfectly fine by me. Um, so he's going to Volt Switch out of there. He's going to go out into Master Lock, his Buzz Wall. And the way he went out to it, I'm thinking he's probably Scarf. So I'm going to one-up him here. And show him how I assert dominance. So I'm going to Volt Switch myself on this. Which probably caught him by surprise here. So I'm going to Volt Switch out. I get up a good chunk of damage on his bus. Well, I'm going to go hard into my Keldeo here. As he's going to go for the Super Power here. Now, normally, on normal circumstances, this would kill me. But since the Aurora Veil is still up for at least two more turns, my Keldeo can eat that hit up no problem. Um, I figured, like I said, the way he went to Buzzwall there made me assume he was Scarf. So I'm going to get the free sub up in my case. As he's going to, if he's forced to switch. He's gonna go hard back into his Comfey. Which is totally fine by me. I get my sub up. Of course, I can't call mine in any situation because he has his Comfey. He has the Torn T. Um, so my Calm Mind Sweep apparently is just going out the window. And right now, my focus on winning this battle lies solely on my Raikou. So he's gonna get that Draining Kiss off. Get the prior put the Triash Draining Kiss off. Break my substitute, but it doesn't allow me to get up a free skull, which is fine by me. So he's pretty much back at full HP here, and then take the life orb recoil, and I'm gonna get, go for a skull here. I kind of wish I had Hydro Pump, but I didn't want the low PP and all that stuff to um, hinder my potential for the Calm Mind Sweep, so I went for a skull. I get the burn, which is great. Now, I, I know he's gonna go for a Draining Kiss again. Didn't want to like risk. Losing my Keldeo right now because it still has some usefulness in this battle because it can deal with non scarf um, Kirim. So I'm going to go hard back into my Empoleon here because it's a dedicated response. He's going to drain and kiss again, and you're going to see from the damage it's going to do nothing. So he actually is ended up, he's going to end up losing, he's going to lose more health than he gets back from draining kiss. So in this situation here, I'm just going to freely click Scald here. I could have gone for Flash Cannon, but I don't have Flash Cannon. Um, I didn't really deem Flash Cannon necessary because Scald pretty much hits everything that he brought. So he's going to go for Synthesis. So he shows Synthesis and Draining Kiss so far and Hidden Power Ground. I don't know what his fourth move is, but I get the free Scald off. <coughs> and with the Scald, ensures that I keep pressure... The Skull plus the bird damage on the Comfey ensures I keep pressuring him 
into burning synthesis since he only has seven left now and it puts him in a pretty bad spot because my Napoleon can essentially wall out this um Comfe if he doesn't if I don't allow him to like do anything hectic like a potential calm mind Comfe. So I'm just gonna keep firing off skulls here. Put him into a position where he's forced to go for synthesis, which is fine, because then if I can stall him out of synthesis, he'd be forced to go for the Drain and Kiss more often to get his health back. And then he reveals Calm Mind, and I'm like, nope, I am not having this nonsense. So I'm going to go for Scald here, because I didn't know what his fourth move was. But if he revealed Calm Mind here, I also get a crit on the Scald, which does suck, because it forces him to burn another PP of Synthesis. And I'm just going to go for the Roar here, because I'm not having anything to do with a potential Calm Mind come face sweeping my team, so he's doing the synthesis here. I'm gonna go for the Roar, because Calm Mind come face is not fun for my team, at least. So I phase him out into Kiram here, and I'm like, okay, that's perfectly fine, because since I'm still at a good amount of health, I know I can take a potential Specs um, Earth Power from a Kiram, as long as it doesn't crit me. <coughs> So, I'm at full, so yeah, I can definitely take a, uh, um, Earth Power. But he goes for the Substitute here, and I'm like, okay, we're just gonna roar you out, so. Um, I think he went for Substitute, predicting me to switch, fearing the Earth Power. But I get the roar off, and in comes the Buzz Wall. So, at this point, I'm forced to sack something off here, because I need my Empoleon around. So, I figured the most expendable mod at this point was my Keldeo since I'm not going to be able to get him to call my sweep anytime soon. So it's going to go for superpower and knock out my Keldeo, which is totally fine because what this allows me to do with my Keldeo dropping as he does get the beast boost right afterwards, um, it allowed me to go back into my Victini because I know he's Scarf Buzzwall, he's locking his superpower, he's at, he's at neutral, this won't kill me. So I get a free. I'm gonna go for the, the free psychic here as he does go out into his Kumfe. He's gonna take the stealth rock damage. I'm just gonna click psychic here because he doesn't really have a switch unless he's AV torn T, which he didn't go into. And the psychic is gonna take out the Kumfe. So no calm mind Kumfe is gonna be sweeping me this time around. Thank you. But it does allow him to go out into his Empoleon here. I mean, he's pulling into his torn here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I need my Victini still, so go out into my um, torn T check, which is my Empoleon, which is putting in quite a bit of work in this point and annoying the crap out of him. As he goes for the knockoff here, so my leftovers are gone. No more passive recovery for me. That's fine. And now you're gonna go for the taunt here, so, um, as I went for Roar this turn. But the fact that he had taunt on his torn T means he's not AV torn T, so. Um, if possible, my um, Raikou's Thunderbolt could one shot at, um, one shot after he comes back in for the Stealth Rock. I think he's gonna go hard into Vikavolt here.